All right, thanks for watching and happy 2020. So hopefully this decade brings you lots of joy and cheer and lots of math. So in fact, to start off the year right, let's calculate a matrix to the 20th, 20th power. I bet if you take linear algebra, your professor will probably ask you about that. So here's the matrix in question. A is minus two, three, six, seven, minus six, seven. And well, remember to calculate a matrix power, you, it's good to diagonalize this matrix. So let's diagonalize A. So let's calculate the eigenvalues which you do by calculating the determinant of lambda i minus a, which is the determinant of lambda plus 2, and then minus 3, 6, lambda minus 7. You multiply this out, lambda times plus 2 times lambda minus 7, and then plus 18, and that becomes lambda squared, I believe, so minus 5 lambda plus 4, minus 14 plus 18. And that becomes lambda squared minus 5 lambda uh, plus 4. I know I did this in America. They're amazing at factoring this out. So let me try that out. Lambda minus 4 times lambda minus 1. And you set that equal 0, and you get lambda is in fact 1 and 4. That's one thing. And now let's find the eigenvectors. So let's first of all find the eigenvector corresponding to 1. So null space of i minus a, that's the null space. So you plug in lambda equals 1 here. So I think 3 minus 3, 6 and minus 6. And then you just row reduce this. You get the null space of 1 minus 1, 0, 0. And notice, this just tells you you have to solve x minus y equals 0. So x equals y. So you vector x, y becomes, if you want, x, x, which is any multiple of 1, 1. So the point is this eigenspace is just the span of 1, 1. And let's figure out the other one. So maybe here. Let's do, I think, for lambda. Whoops. First time this year that it fell down. Okay, for lambda equals 4, you do null space of 4i minus a. And that becomes, in this case, the null space of, let's see, I think, uh, 4 plus 2, 6, minus 3, 6, and 3. No, wait. Uh, 4, 6, mi ah, minus 3. I was like, that can't be invertible. So, and then if you want to row reduce, you get that's the null space of 2 minus 1, 0, 0. And then if you want, you solve, you know, if you want, that's the easiest one. So if 2x minus y equals 0, so let's say y is 2x, and then your vector xy becomes uh, 2x, sorry, uh, no, x and 2x, and that's x times 1, 2. In fact, you can check that 1, 2 satisfies this equals 0. So this is the span of 1, 2. And therefore, I know, 2020, year of the messy whiteboards. Um, now we can actually solve for, you know, a to the 2020, because a, which is minus 2, 3, minus 6, 7, we know that's PDP inverse, where... Again, D is your matrix of eigenvalues, which is 1, 0, 0, 4. And P is the matrix of corresponding eigenvectors, which is 1, 1, 1, 2. Okay, and then why is this useful? I'd like to remind you, well... If A is PDP inverse, a squared, it's AA, and that's PDP inverse, PDP inverse. This cancels out, and that becomes P, PDD, PD squared, P inverse. So A squared is PDP inverse. So in particular, A to the 2020 will 
be p to the d to the 20, 20. p inverse. That's a lot of d's. That's 20, 20 d's. But the cool thing is, d to the n is easy to calculate. You just raise the diagonal entries to the 20, 20th power. So we get 1 over to the 20, 20, 0, 0, 4 to the 20, 20. And then 1, 1, 1, 2, inverse. And then what does that become? So 1, 1, 1, 2. One, so 1 to any power is 1. So 1 to the 20, 20 is 1. 0, 0, 4 to the 20, 20. And then, what's the inverse of A, B, C, D? It's 1 over the determinant. So 1 over 2 minus 1, which is 1, luckily. And then, you flip those two entries to 1, and you put minus at those entries. And this is amazing, because now all you have to do is multiply everything. So it becomes 1, 1, 1, 2 times... Okay, here the first row becomes 2 minus 1, and then minus 4 to the 20, 20, and then 4 to the 20, 20. Okay. Last but not least, we just have to multiply this out. So... Almost done. That becomes 2 minus 4 to the 20, 20. And then minus 1 plus 4 to the 20, 20. And then 2, let's see, 2 minus 2 times 4 to the 20, 20. And minus 1 plus 2 times 4 to the 20, 20. And if you want, I did not calculate this out, but uh, you can calculate this to be like a, a very specific number. So very cool. If you raise the matrix to the 20, 20th power, you get this. And I hope it fulfills your New Year's, re New Year's resolution of learning more math. Uh, all right. So I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.